a lovely day for it. Today, I'm trying to snatch another walk in between showers. Uh, and it is just showers, it's not heavy rain or heavy snow or anything. It, leaves, uh, it looks awful out there just now, but really it's, they're just passing through. Um, I'm off today to see a rather spectacular corrie. Cory, one of those enormous great big bowls that's gouged out of the, uh, the side of a hill by glaciers. And this one is highly regarded as being one of the finest in Scotland, the Corrie Vic Erche, I think it's called. Uh, and it has a very, very impressive triple buttress of enormous rocks leading up right at the back of Ben A, which is one of the big hills in Torridon, in Glen Torridon. Which is that up there, in fact, that's Ben A. When I got here about 20 minutes ago, it was blue skies and sunshine, and I could see the tops of the hills snow capped. It was beautiful. <laughs> Couldn't look more different just now. I am uh, thinking that once I get up to the quarry, I might go up to the top of Ben A to Ruistak Moor if I get the chance. If it's not too grim, it's nice to have the option. Again, it's a late start. I started about just before 11 o'clock, so uh, I need to make sure I'm down on the path in good time. And I've brought two torches with me this time, just so I've got a backup. There you go, it's clearing up already. This path will eventually take me between these two great big giants of hills, this enormous hill here, and you don't get a sense of how big it is even from here. It goes for kilometres and miles sort of that way and has bits sticking out that way. That's Ben A. It must be one of the biggest mountains in Scotland in terms of bulk, I'd have thought. Sprawling, just goes on forever. But uh, going up through the middle and you sort of come round this bit that sticks out of Ben A and then we'll have the Corrie. Just, you just turn a corner and suddenly it's there looking very, very imposing. Stays bright. Brightness coming up. Oh, sky. Gives me hope. Forking the road. Going up that way. There's two guys up there actually. Probably going to the same place. The quarry is tucked around the end. Just the most remarkable landscape. Last time I was here, oh, seven years ago, I think, uh, I never saw any of this. The cloud was down. So it's nice to be able to see all this for a change. I'm always saying that Ascent in Sutherland is my favourite part of Scotland, and that's still true. There's nothing quite like that, the, the emptiness there and the water on the land, so many, so many thousands of tiny little sparkling lochens. Quite, quite beautiful. But Torridon has probably got the grander mountains. Arguably it has the, the finest, uh, finest mountain architecture you're likely to find in the Highlands, I, I personally think. And here we are, just starting to appear, other side of the quarry. Uh, that up there is the summit of Ben A. One of the many summits, in fact, but it's the highest point. And depending on how the weather is, in half an hour or so, I might, might try going up. Oh, that's one side of the quarry. That's the other one, it's in here, and you can start to get a sense of just how high and sheer it is. I don't know if you can get that sense on the camera or not, but it is very high.
pick my way all the way along this boulder field. Oh, it's just tough going. Just about to round the corner and hopefully get a view right underneath the buttresses. There we go. Triple buttress as it's known. One, two, three. Well again, just getting a bit of height so I can get a bit of a, a better view of where I am. The buttress is up there looking a bit different because I've come up a wee bit here. I'm going to try and maybe get to the top of this ridge. It'd be nice to be able to get to the top of something, especially because it's blue sky there now, but I'm sure that's just uh, giving me a full sense of security. There's probably a big black cloud just waiting to come and blast my face with hail. So uh, I'll plod on up and see what happens. As I was saying, this is probably regarded as one of the, the finest examples of a quarry in Scotland. There are other famous ones, there's ones like, uh, like at Loch Nagar, Craig Meggie, and of course the northern, northern quarries in the Cairngorms. Um, most of them tend to be north facing or east facing because that's the aspect on a hill that doesn't get uh, the sun as much, or at least not the full power of the sun during summer or even during the winter months. And this is where the snow lingers longest um, at low altitudes. You can imagine if it's just a few degrees cooler on average, uh, which is probably all it would take for snow to remain at these sort of levels all year round. We do have snow packs that survive from year to year, but they tend to be up quite high. Um, and, and, but they're on aspects of the hill that don't get the sun either. But you can imagine if it's a few degrees cooler and snow starts to accumulate here, it doesn't melt during the summer, it doesn't get the sun, and it just compacts down very slowly and gets harder then the next year more snow falls and then that compacts down on what was there before and slowly and slowly you just build up very very hard snow and eventually that turns into ice if you get enough snow falling as more and more snow falls and the, and the snow doesn't melt each year and it gets thicker and thicker that enormous weight of ice pushes down on all of this you can imagine what's it one cubic meter of water weighs a ton or something you can imagine if this is just full of ice how much weight there is and it's forever sort of wanting to come down gravity is wanting to bring the ice down and all the while it's picking at the rocks that are behind the ice that you can't see it's, as it moves it's picking at them and taking them away and then melt water underneath the ice makes it, it lubricates it it's almost like having little ball bearings underneath underneath the glacier underneath the ice and that helps it roll down the hill as well. So gravity is pulling it down but it's also being lubricated from underneath and all the while it's falling down, pulling the rocks away from here, pulling the rocks away from here and before you know it you've got this enormous great big bowl where the ice has been carving it out and that's what all our quarries are in Scotland. They're all the remnants of glaciers that have been digging away at our hillsides over the thousands and thousands of years. But if ever our climate cools just about a few degrees. It's in places like this, in these quarries. It's places like this that we'll see ice form first. This is where this is where the glaciers would begin if we cooled just a few degrees and kept our snow each each year. The weather's closing in. Typically, just as I'm approaching the rim up there. Yeah, the weather's <laughs> closing in. Here comes the snow. Which is quite nice, I don't mind. I don't mind waiting, it's nice just to have uh, snow again in November. Winter's coming. Ever-changeable nature of the hills. I'm optimistic I might get some brightness. Ah. As you can see, the weather's closed in considerably. I'm not far from the, the ridge line. There's hints that it might clear up. If it hasn't cleared up in five or ten minutes or so, I'm just going to turn around and head back because uh, 
the day's getting on. There's hints of brightness up there, but really, I don't know, could do that for the next half hour and just tease me. We'll see. I'm on the move again. There's look, blue sky. I might get lucky. I might actually get a snowy panorama with blue sky perfection. Just rewards actually. I feel like I should be, I feel like I've earned something. Ah. Oh. How about that? Oh yes. Fantastic. It's still snowing as well. And we've even got a Brock and Spectre. I hope just coming up with the camera with my shadow. Oh, damn it. A bit of a treat. Triple buttress is up there. Leah is this enormous thing here. going this final bit up to the summit there's just the boulders covered in snow that's weird I suppose different people see different things I see a giant no entry sign Oh, and this must be the top. It's got a bit cloudier, but I'm hoping that if I linger around for just a few minutes, it will clear again. Again, uh, time to head down. There's not going to be much daylight left again, so it's always the way. You never want to come down when you've got views like this. It makes it all worthwhile. 
don't want to go down. Ah, uh, well. Right. Time to go. a sense of how far there is to go before I get back to the car. It's only actually just down there, the other side of this, this ridge here, but I need to go all the way down, into, back into the quarry, round the other side of this hill and back out and then down this Just like the other day, so long as I'm back to the main path at the head of the quarry before it gets dark, that's fine because it's it's a good path all the way back. I've got, I've got two torches, so if it does get dark, I'm not going to lose my way or anything. My footing will be fine. So. I join the ridge. This is my way down. Say goodbye to views on that side. Happily, say goodbye to the wind also. Filming and taking photos. Can't tell you how cold the fingers get very, very quickly in that wind. Anyway. Right, just a quick change of equipment. The poles have gone away. The ice axe has come out because it's steep here. And although the snow is not that deep, uh, it just gives you a little extra security to get down. It's a lovely light in here now. I'm halfway down. The buttress is very impressive now, you can actually see all of it. Oh, it's a lot easier coming down. Nearly back at the main path. Anyway, one last look at what we came to see. Oh, it's quite stupendous, isn't it? Oh, it's not the ideal way to end a hill climb, teetering over boulders at the end of the day when you're tired and your legs are starting to protest a bit. First one of those I've seen this week.
amazing how quickly the weather changes here. Bit of a cliche, people saying in the, in the hills how things can change minute to minute, but they really do. Yep, being pelted. Oh, there's some more deer, completely unfazed by me being here. That's quite a view though, isn't it? Wow. I need new adjectives. I've run out to describe how amazing Scotland is. Oh, goodness gracious. 